In this tutorial in Microsoft Word, I'd like to show you how to clean up your documents by using a special option of the Find command. We're going to look for things that are not printed on the screen, such as extra spaces, extra carriage returns, page breaks, unwanted tabs. In order to do this, first of all, I'll show you how the Find command works. And we're going to click on the paragraph marker so we get to see all these invisible characters, or at least many of them. And this will show me everything I have on my screen. In my Home tab, I click on Find, and I'm going to do the drop down to the right of it, which is my Advanced Find. And it shows me the last thing I looked for. I'm going to delete that right now. And I'll click on the More button in the lower left corner of the pop-up window. Then to find the non-printing characters, we click on the special button at the bottom. Let me show you a couple that you may use frequently. First is the paragraph mark. Where do the paragraphs end? I click here and it inserts a caret P, which you could have typed right from the keyboard. And I'll click on find next. And here it found this paragraph mark. Click on find next, the next one, another one after the word example and on it goes. Here's one and here is another one. I probably don't want two in a row and that could cause some formatting issues but it is a very effective way to find such things. I'm going to clear that out of the find and show you another item you may use frequently. I'm going to click on special. I need to move my box up into the visible screen here, special. And the other is tab character. That happens to be caret T. So I'll go find next, and it found one in my header. I'll go find next. It finished, and we'll go find next again. And now it found a, an odd tab here in this part of the document. And go find next again, and we're back to the header. Well, those are the only ones it found. Another common one that you might uh, use occasionally of all the ones in the list, and we'll just hit the most popular ones, would be a page break. I'll click on manual page break, that's caret M. Again, you can type in from the keyboard. I'll go find next, didn't find any yet. We'll start from the beginning of the document, and here is a page break. So if I'm looking, I may see it visually if I turn on the markers with this control but this will help you find them in case you're not sure. Now, so why find them? Well, you can find them to change them. Let me show you something in this document that we need to work on here. I'm going to drag down a while. And here I have some numbered lists that looks pretty good if I turn my little, little uh, control off. And it looks like I tabbed over and did all this, but if I turn it back on, I notice I've got spaces instead of a tab. Let's assume I pulled this in from another document or off the net, and this is what it looks like. Let me show you an easy way to change that. We're going to go into the replace part instead of find. We're going to look for four spaces. I hit the spacebar character four times. I Unfortunately, I do not see it in the find screen. One, two, three, four. But it's there. Now I'll comp replace it with, and I can click on my special here, and I'll click my tab character. Or I could type in control T. And then let me go to the find next. There, it found it. I'll click replace. And the next one I'll hit replace. Next one I'll hit replace and it finished. So one nice thing I just picked up from this example was I was able to, with the, my search and replace, turn these into regular tabbed paragraphs, which is really nice. Let me show you a couple other features. Let's assume I, I, I think, you know, somewhere in my document, I probably have more than one paragraph mark. So I'll look at par control P, and I'll put it in according to my button again. That would be this one. So I'm looking for two hard carriage returns in a row. And I'm going to replace them with a single carriage return in a row, single paragraph mark. 
So wherever in my document I hit the I hit the, hit it twice, like here here I did and here I did, it will just take out that extra paragraph. It will remove two, replace them with one. I'm going to click replace all. Now it found five places in my document where I had the extra carriage return. That's really nice. The other thing I can do here is I can just go looking for wild tabs as I tend to call them and I'll click here and we'll go back to my uh, tab character and I'm not going to replace it yet but I could say replace with nothing but that would let's go click on find here uh, find next now if I click replace it took care of it but I don't want to replace the next ones so I just click next and then I can close. Found the whole document. So it took out that odd tab in the middle of the sentence. There's another option you can do is sometimes when you get a document in or someone types with two spaces between the sentences. And since the sentence ends in a period, sometimes a question mark or exclamation point, but I'll start with a period. I'll look for a period space space on the keyboard and I'll replace it with a period and a single space and I'll click replace all and it found two places in my document where I had an extra space after a sentence and if there were more than one space maybe there were two or three all I have to do is go through the command again it didn't find any others so I can I can cycle through that so it will re replace any combination of periods and multiple spaces with it down to a single space. The other option that we have here is we could go back to our uh, special and we will pick uh, page break which is my control M and I'll hit the backspace and this will take out every page break in my document that's manual. So I can replace all. And I made one replacement, which means it took out the, the page break that once was right here. This may be a case where you don't want to do it automatically. You may want to find it and then decide to replace it singly. But th these are kinds of things you can do to clean up your documents really nice and really efficiently using the search and replace for non-printing characters in Microsoft Word. The Find option is not limited to characters you can see on your screen, but other features that are built into the formatting of Microsoft Word, such as spaces, paragraph marks, as you've just seen. I encourage you to experiment with this because you can do some amazing document cleanup very quickly using the search and replace together. I'm Jim from the Sharper Turtle, and if you found this exercise useful, we're so glad. We'd like to ask you to like us, leave comments, and subscribe to our YouTube channel here at the Sharper Turtle. Thank you.